If you are talking of a country who made the biggest surprise of the Africa Cup of Nations, then it's Zambia in 2012 when they won the trophy. In 2023, Zambia will be making their main team appearance at the AFCON. <laughs> So yes, we know they won the trophy in 2012, but before 2012, the best performance Zambia ever had at the Africa Cup was in 1974 and also 1994, where they finished second place in both editions. The country's performance at the African has however spiraled down ever since the 2012 triumph. It was a good stage exit in 2012 and also 2015, and the country is only qualifying for the AFCON for the first time since 2015. So coming into the AFCON with a new fire and also a new zeal, Zambia will be hoping for the fortunes of 2012 as they hope to win the trophy for a second time in their history. So the country appointed Ivram Grant as the head coach that was in December 2022 to lead the new Zambia project in bid of winning the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations and also qualifying to the world. If they qualify, Zambia will group with Cote d'Ivoire, so Lesotho and then Comoros and they came out on top of their group. Yes, they won their group in qualifiers. And if you believe in coincidences in football, won well, in 2012 when Zambia won the upcon, they had a former technical member of Ghana. That was Heavy Renard, who was the past assistant coach of the Black Stars. Now in 2023, Zambia are going to the AFCON with Ivan Grant, who was the former coach of Ghana. So if you believe in miracles like that, well, I know what you think. <laughs> Generally, the Zambia team is not filled with superstars, but that was the same on the 2012 team, but they still went ahead to win the trophy eventually. So let's profile a few players who will be the worst to watch the Zambia team and the AFCON and start in number one is the striker Patsin Daka. So Daka is 25 years, but he's already a legend in Zambia. Among the current crop of active professionals for Zambia, he's the country's all-time top scorer with 18 goals. This means if Zambia was scoring goals at the AFCON, the most likely source is going to be from Patsin Daka. Now being 25 years and playing for Leicester City, this is however his first time at AFCON and he want to leave an impression at this tournament. The second player to profile for Zambia is Fashion Zakala. So if the goals don't come from Patsin Daka, then the second likeable option is Fashion Sakala. Currently, he plays for Al Fayah in Saudi Arabia, but he made his most memorable times in football with Rangers in Scotland. Fashion Sakala has scored nine goals for Zambia since making his debut in 2017. Number three, Stopila Suzu. This name is a legendary name in Zambia football. So when Zambia won the AFCON in 2012, the man who scored the winning goal, or should I say the winning penalty, was no other that's the Pilar Sunzu. 11 years later in 2023, he's still active in the Zambia team and is part of the Zambia squad for AFCON 2023. He's now 34 years and playing in China, while Sunzu is expected to be a leader in this Zambia team and also key to the organization of their defense in this AFCON. Other notable players to mention for Zambia includes Lamek Banda, who plays for Lecce in the Serie A. Also, Kings Kagawa, who plays for Red Star Belgrade in the Serbia League. And also Kennedy Busunda, who is a striker for younger young Africans in Tanzania. Zambia maintained that the aim for this competition is to go for the title. And in a way, it's on the Atom Patsy Naka, he says, We are going there as contenders to fight and bring pride again to our country. We believe as a group that everything is possible. Zambia have been running group with Afcon favorites Morocco, also two ten champions DR Congo and then Tanzania. Because there is the option for some of the best third place finishers to qualify out of the group, our final prediction is around 16 exits for Zambia. <laughs>